everyone, it's Shannon here for Honeybee Stamps. In today's video, we are going to make this colorful slimline card using the Sugar Cookie Alphabet Set, but we're actually going to turn those cookies into candles. So we're actually going to start off with the Sugar Cookie Alphabet Set. Here is the set here. You get all the letters in the alphabet, including some punctuation, which I think is awesome. But you also get these little flames, and that's what we're going to use to make these cookies candles. I'm going to start with nine pieces of scrap colored cardstock. I'm going to spell out the word celebrate and I want each letter to be a different color. I'm starting with the letter C, pulled it off of the stamp set, and I'm going to heat emboss it. So I did apply some anti-static powder, then inked up my stamp in Versamark ink, and now I'm going to pour on or dip it into some white embossing powder. Just tap off the excess here, and then I'll heat set with my heat tool. After I heat set that, we have this beautiful stamped letter, and now I'm going to move on to my next letter, which is the E. So I have a little bit lighter pink cardstock here, kind of doing a rainbow, and again, I put down some anti anti-static powder, uh, stamped it in Versamark ink, and then heat embossed it in some white embossing powder. So I went ahead and repeated this process for all the letters in my sentiment. You can see here all of them stamped on my scrap. Now I'm going to use the matching dies here to die cut my letters out. Again, starting with my C, just going to center it here, then use a couple pieces of micro pore tape to hold that die in place. Then I'll pick it up and run it through my die cutting machine. Now that I've run it through my die cutting machine, I'm going to go ahead and remove the micro pore tape and we have this beautifully cut C and now I'm just going to repeat this process for all the letters in Celebrate. Here I am finishing up with that B and you can see that rainbow all together. Just love all those nine shades together. So now I'm going to move on to the flames. So I'm going to pull off these four flame dies that are in the sugar cookie alphabet die set place them on this scrap of white cardstock and die cut it. And I'm going to die cut those flames out 10 times. I actually only need nine flames, obviously, but just cut one out extra to be safe. Now here I wanted to point out that the, the flames are actually different. Not all four dies are the same. You have two with the curve of the flame to the left and two with the curve of the frame flame to the right. And even the stamps are a little bit different. Now if you can't tell the, them apart, it's all right. You can just place them inside the negatives. I matched them up here, made sure I matched the correct stamp up with the correct uh, negative opening because I'm going to use that scrap of white cardstock as a jig to hold my die cut uh, flames in place while I stamp them. So here I just stamped my first two. I'm just going to hold them up to the camera so you can see I did stamp them in uh, Honeybee's new No Line Coloring Ink, which is an awesome ink. I love how this stamps. It stamps so beautifully and really light. Perfect for no line coloring, which we're going to do a little bit of now that we have all of our flames stamped. So I have my Copics here and I am just going to color each one of the flames with uh, Y06 first. Really simple Copic coloring because these are very tiny. And then I will grab an orange YR04 and just color the kind of base of the flame to make it really look like fire. Then I have a Copic multi-liner here and I'm just going to draw in the wick. So just go right over the stamped line of that wick with the uh, multi-liner to really give it that look. Using a jig and die cutting out your images first before you stamp them and then stamping them is a great way to do multiples of the same image. It really made creating these flames really quick and easy. So now that my flames are all done, I'm going to go ahead and adhere them to each one of my candles. This is really easy, just adding a tiny bit of glue to the very bottom of the wick and then just sticking them down. I'll repeat this process, of course, for each one of my letters. Here I am finishing up my E. And once I adhere that flame down, I'm ready to move on to kind of my sub sentiment. I have the new Biddy Buzzwords stamp set. This is an awesome set. It has all of the honeybee buzzwords kind of just shrunk down a little bit and perfect for this card especially. I'm going to ink up friend here in intense black ink. This is an, also a new ink from honeybee and I love it. It stamps beautifully. Now that I've stamped it onto a white cardstock, I'm going to grab the coordinating die, line it up, and then of course die cut it out. And now I have a perfect kind of sub sentiment to go with my uh, celebrate candles. So now I'm going to move on to my slimline card base. I took a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and 
cut it at seven inches. This leftover piece would be great for creating a slimline panel, but I'm not gonna need that today, so I just went ahead and scored it at three and a half to create my base. Now I'm going to use a couple pieces of micro pour tape here just to hold my card base down while I arrange all of my letters and my sub-sentiment. So I have all my letters here. I did go ahead and add foam adhesive to the back side of each one of those letters. And now I'm just going to quickly arrange them here on my slimline card base, kind of do um, not nice and straight. I don't even think they would quite fit if I did them all straight. So I kind of did them um, angled, which I think is more fun. Then figured out a spot for my friend and also added some adhesive to the back side of that sub sentiment. Now I'm ready to go ahead and remove the backing on the foam adhesive and stick down all of my candle letters. Once I have all of those stuck down, now all I have to do is stick down my friend. So I will remove the backing on that, on the foam adhesive on that, and just place that right down onto my card front. And once I get that stuck down, my card is actually complete. Now I'll hold the card to the camera so hopefully you can get a good look at all the details on this card. I love how kind of clean and simple this is, yet so fun and festive with those bright colors, and I love the designs on the letters. The flames I think are a really nice touch, and the simple friend just really kind of brings it all together. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.